Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today it is Sunday, so that means it is another Elvis trailer review. And today it's Follow That Dream. We're following on from Blue Hawaii last week to Follow That Dream. Now, Follow That Dream was released in 1962. It is a fantastic Elvis movie. I absolutely love this movie. And there is a definite change in shift again. Now, we talked about Blue Hawaii last week becoming the formula, but Follow That Dream isn't the formula yet. So even though I did state that last week, Fall That Dream still isn't. We are, this is a classic movie and Elvis shows off his comedic style. He is a fantastic comedy actor and I truly believe if they weren't going to go down the vein of serious and they weren't going to give him these serious movies, I think they should have went down the vein of comedy because I think he had a real knack for it. And in this movie is Toby Quimper. I think Toby Toby is just absolutely adorable. Now, if you've watched the movie, you'll know what I'm talking about, but there's a bit in the movie about the 90s. <laughs> ah, you'll know it. What it, it's, the way he tells that story is just so genius and comedy. I just love it. And also the bank scene. The bank scene is genius in the way Elvis is very deadpan as Toby, because that's what Toby is, he's deadpan. Oh my goodness, it's just brilliant. It's so funny. I honestly believe Elvis could have been an amazing comedy actor. Now imagine Elvis with um, Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis. Imagine that. They could have been the threesome. <laughs> I think that he would have fitted in really well in that kind of comedy style. And I just absolutely love it. So yeah, um, Follow That Dream is it's a weird little movie. It's people driving through places in America trying to get somewhere and they come across a homestead and they homestead it and they say why can't I have this bit of land when it's free land so yeah it's that kind of thing so there's lots more to it so please pop on over and watch Follow That Dream if you haven't already you will not regret it it's fantastic and it always does has a has a good bit of dramaticness as well at the end in the court scene there's a good dramatic acting which shows his power as an actor but I think he's showing comedic value big time. Okay, so let's watch the trailer. Let's do it. It's headed for this theater, loaded with the most happy go lucky group of wanderers who ever came down the pike chasing after a rainbow. And the happy go luckiest of them all is the one and only Elvis himself. I've got to follow that dream wherever that dream may lead. <laughs> this scene. <laughs> Arthur O'Connell is fantastic in it. Brilliant. Anne Helm, beautiful co star. Joanna Muir, she's fantastic too. Take care of the sheriff. Turn on the music. Make it loud. I like it loud. <laughs> well, what are you waiting for? Where's your gun? I got it. What? Is there what? Oh, I'm not the man who reading comes. Give me sound advice. But as sure as living, it ain't sound. It ain't nice. Know me a girl with a dimple on her cheek. But it melts in her mouth when she opens it to speak. This is beautiful. So as you can see there, it was done by United Artists. Um, there's a lot more to the story. As you can see there, we've got mafia bosses and we've got fight scenes and lots of good stuff like that. So it's definitely 
more than the brief storyline that I gave it at the start. It's a fantastic movie and it's so funny. And there's some brilliant, brilliant actors in it, like um, Arthur O'Connell and Anne Helm and Joanna Moore. Lots of good people in here and lots of good fun times and frolics. And I just think it's brilliant. I really, really recommend it. So yeah, what do you think of Follow That Dream? Put down in the comments below. It's definitely one of my favourites and I could watch it any day of the week. So I will be back next week. Come with me then and we'll watch another trailer together. Bye, bro.